Yo, what is up guys? So before I start talking about the video, uh, happy holidays guys. I am very grateful that you guys have found me and allow me to entertain slash educate you on a few things that I know about games and whatnot. And it really warms my heart because uh, it's just, it's really wild when you do a channel and people genuinely actually watch your content. And I, I appreciate it and I just want to thank you for basically allowing me to do this because uh it's really real really weird to have this kind of mindset where it's like i'm gonna ma be making content for people that i don't know and they might like it or hate it and most of you like it and i appreciate that from the bottom of my heart so i was hoping we can get to a thousand by the end of the year but that's fine don't really care uh we'll get it eventually but yeah just happy holidays guys and i hope you and yours are safe and happy so with that out of the way let's talk about one thing that me and well essentially I, I told my girlfriend the other day and i was telling her that like i'm happy that i have these detoxifying games and what i mean by that is like basically like you know how like in destiny 2 we have the grind the bounties the insert grind here you know uh i play a lot of those games it's uh very satisfying to me because i'm very goal oriented so for me it's very much just a i'm gonna i need to get this weapon i need to get this weapon plus i need to finish my weeklies and my my like i know what to do but and it's really funny because uh right i think right when cyberpunk came out i was already feeling burnout which uh, I haven't shown you guys like that side of me yet, but I mean this video is going to show you a little bit of it and I will definitely be doing videos of it later. But when I experience burnout, especially in like Destiny 2 or in just YouTube in general, what I tend to do is find my detoxifying video games or my other hobbies. Usually it's my detoxifying games. So. The first one is actually Minecraft, surprisingly. Uh, so Minecraft has been a game I literally grew up with. I remember when the beta came out and I wasn't there for the alpha, but I was there for the beta and that should explain my age somewhat. I was there when the beta was the thing. If I remember correctly, I was visiting Honduras when, uh, when I played the beta for the first time, which is why like when I log into my Mojang account it's on Spanish because I did it in Honduras and it's wild because like dude I've gr I've grown up with the game the game has evolved so much but it's a game that I don't have to worry about basically making a goal my whole go like to give you guys some perspective I've never beaten the ender dragon because I never really care to when I play Minecraft I only have one object or one objective which is essentially build a really cool house and make it to like it looks like an adventurer's house and sometimes i achieve that goal and sometimes i just kind of like drift away from the house and then just build another one so minecraft to me is a very just relaxing and soothing game because i don't have to do anything crazy i only have one objective and it's like something that really allows me to be creative so that's definitely a game that just detoxifies all the bullshit of destiny 2 and not only destiny 2 but like just the hamster wheel mentality that a lot of video games have right now minecraft reminds me that this is supposed to be fun not a fucking chore with that being said another game which is really funny after all everything i just said about minecraft is actually the binding of isaac so I've been playing The Binding of Isaac since forever. I actually don't even remember when I bought it, but it's it's a game where I my goal is obviously to beat the game, but it's not not to do anything crazy. It's just it's just me kind of like turn my brain off and I just play. Binding of Isaac is such a great example of like playing like I play the game casually. I'm not trying to like complete it like 300% or whatever the, the hell it's called. I just play just to play it and if I unlock stuff cool if I don't and it doesn't really matter to me at the end of the day what I like is I don't know the binding of Isaac that much to the point where I know each item so when I find a new item I like look it up I'm like okay well that's that like I'm casually learning how to play the game and I enjoy that a lot more 
because if this was like destiny 2 or whatever i literally would be looking up everything about the game like what the items do the synergies with it uh all the pills even though you don't know the pills when you pick them up if i remember correctly i would still try to like memorize what the, all the pills do like i would do so much more but the binding of isaac to me i just i'm not saying it's right or wrong i'm just saying i enjoy it i enjoy playing it casually a lot more and the last game is actually not a game but more of a genre i enjoy survival crafting games so uh arc survival evolved is a, is a great example i love that game uh the long dark i just picked up not too long ago which i'm still kind of iffy on subnautica raft stranded deep the forest i have so many games like this that these are really my comfort games. These are the games that I just kind of sit back, chill, and just really just let my my mind wander because it's it's just a lot of fun. And for me personally, if I can't build a house and live in the game, then my kind my interest in the game kind of wanes. Uh, the Long Dark is a great example. I'm not saying the Long Dark is a bad game. It's a great game actually. It's just for me, I very much enjoy a game where I can actually build a home and kind of just survive off the land not saying you can't do that in the long uh the long dark i just don't think you can build a house and that for me is like really important because uh you feel you feel every like foundation that you build in a game the arc is a great example of that like i've been playing the arc since forever and every time i started up immediately i'm like all right gotta build a house gotta survive and thrive and if you guys know that saying that you one of the real ones but that's like my point in a, in a video game survive and thrive and i really enjoy survival games specifically because it just allows me to do that it allows me to just get into that mindset of like all right i need to make this house like like a survival par survival survivalist paradise so i have to have storage i have to have like my own room and like i really go balls deep into it because it's just a lot of fun for me so that's really it guys uh i know you guys come usually for for destiny 2 content but with just how i'm evolving as a person i'm just finding that destiny 2 if it doesn't evolve as well then it's gonna become it's gonna become a game i just play casually because that's really where the game is headed and love it or hate it I, I hate it, but personally, I, I can't do anything about it. I'm not in Bungie, so I can't tell them, like, no, I don't like this. Go back. So I'm just going to evolve and just play it casually. And if I can't get something that I really want, then, oh, well, uh, sucks to be su sucks to suck because I'm getting kind of tired of Destiny 2, which is why I wanted to make this video. I, I think everyone needs to have a detox game everyone needs to have that game that they can go and just kind of like turn their brain off and just enjoy uh i obviously have a lot more games like i have state of decay terraria satisfactory uh i just got phasmophobia not too long ago not in the i got phasmophobia not too long ago which i've been told that i should do content on which is still kind of like i don't know man uh I will still have Cyberpunk coming out. I will still have the Ghost Runner series if anyone's interested. I do want to finish that on my channel just because I like that game. And there's just a lot of content that I'm thinking about. And with the new year coming up, it's this channel is not going to slow down at all. If anything, it's going to go a little bit harder on it. So be safe, guys. You know, tapping the world. I hope you and yours have a great Christmas slash holiday. I don't like to say just Christmas because uh, I know other people celebrate other holidays. So happy holidays uh be safe guys and i'll see you guys later